Hello guys, today it is all about Git Reset. So let's start talking on Git Reset by talking about the three trees in Git. So head, head is a current branch reference, index is a staging area, and the working directory is a place where you actually code. So let's get started. We start by creating a directory. We make a directory called Alexi. We go inside, we initialize our project doing git init. And we can see we have a folder being created dot git. So this is the place where actual magic begins. Now what we, we got to see is we got to see where head points to. So as we already saw, said, head is a current branch reference. Now we should we git branch, we can see there is no branch created as of now. So what we do is we are going to create a file and we are going to write something into it. So I am going to write something on the, about announcements. So in this in the coming weekend we are going to have a demo on a Linux container. So we are going to use this file for announcements. So now we do git status. As you can see our file is in is in working directory. Now when we when we do git cat file to head just to check whether my head is pointing to it's not pointing to anywhere as of now it's not pointing to any commit because there is no commit now we are going to bring that file from working directory to a staging area when you bring it inside it, it becomes green and now we are going to commit it so when we are going to commit it actually moves to head so um, yeah so we give a proper commit message Now again we check the pointer of a head now as you can see the pointer of a head points to something so it is a current branch reference and the current branch points to your current commit and your head points to that commit indirectly now the second thing we are going to do is we are going to add one more information we are going to add timing information when we are going to have that demo in this file so let's say Sunday 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. We are planning to have this demo. So we check it again. We have something, some new changes in my working directory. And now I stage and commit it. So when I stage and commit it with the proper commit message, this is the version 2 of the file which we already created and it has information on the timings. So when we do git log as you can see we have two commits done. Yeah. So now that there is a third information which I missed out, we missed the title. So now let's go ahead and add a title to it. So the title will be intro, intro to Linux containers. And then we again do the same thing, we do add and commit. So what we are trying to do is we are going to um, uh, commit three different versions of a file. So that we can have a git reset explained perfectly with a small example so we have three commits and our head is a current reference current branch reference and branch is pointing to a current commit so first thing we do is we do a soft re reset so when we do git reset hyphen f and soft head is going to bring out your commit from your head and it is going to put it in a staging area so I mean it's just moving it's just it's just actually moving your commit as you can see your file is in a staging area now now let's go ahead and uh, see the branch or current branch is master there is no branch change so as of now what we did is we just did a reset so just to see what happened so initially we had three commits our, our master was pointing to uh, the latest commit when we did reset head then it actually came back to the one commit before so it's just moving back the commit it means it, it reverted the change which I had in commit and it put into stage that's what soft git reset soft does and as of now when we see where well, our git head points to current branch and when we see the branch reference it is pointing to the commit so that your commit actually the the, uh, the commit reference where your branch is pointing to it is changed because we came back one commit earlier now let's commit it back again so that we can uh, check on the other options of a git reset what they do so when you do git log we can see still uh, now we have three commits again 
now the second thing we are going to do is we are going to use another option called reset mixed so when you do get reset mixed and then head so by default it is going to revert one commit so as you can see if you can see last time it was green now it is red it means that it is coming out of the staging area it is now to your working directory so reset mix what it does it removes everything from your commit and also from your staging area it is ideally modifying two two trees your head and your staging area so we are going to commit back again so that we can actually uh, see the third uh, option how it looks like so when we do git reset reset hard and we do head colon so we, if you don't specify number over here it is actually going to commit one so in this case as you can see we have our working directory clean so this is actually this has actually removed everything and it is non recoverable as of now so now we talk on git checkout so git checkout for example as of now we had a single branch when we do git branch we have master now we, what we do is we do git checkout minus v it will create a new branch and being developed so now when we check we have two branches and currently my head is pointing to develop branch star source the current branch which you are working in so when we see head reference it is referring to a commit id to, and when you see the develop they both are referring to the same commit id as of now because the, the, uh, yeah so they have on the same they are on the same commit id now what we do since we are in develop branch we are going inside it and we are going to add a title again because in last in last last uh, command what we did we removed it we did git reset hard so here we uh, added it we commit add in we stage and commit again so when we do git log we can see we are one commit ahead so we have one more commit added now let's check the reference so when you see the branch master master is pointing to your older commit and when we check for uh, your develop branch which is your current branch it will be pointing to your newer commit that is this one so all your git is do, your git checkout is doing you are just moving your branch it's just it's, it's just it's just like a cd to different branch so when you do git checkout master we are you are good at the master's place so you have only two commits over here so here it's not manipulating or it's not deleting anything from any of the staging areas so yeah reset reset manipulates the commit check out moves the branch yeah so thank you guys subscribe thank you for watching